हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू साइंस सर्फर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द चैप्टर वर्क एंड एनर्जी फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ इन ऑर्डिनरी लैंग्वेज वर्क मींस एनी एक्टिविटी सम टास्क और जॉब वी आर परफॉर्मिंग राइट बट इन फिजिक्स द वर्क हैज अ यूनिक मीनिंग वर्क इज सेट टू बी डन ओनली वेन अ फोर्स एक्ट ऑन एन ऑब्जेक्ट and the object is displaced in the direction of the force for example a horse is pulling a cart horse is applying some force on the cart and the cart is moving through a distance right that means some work is done for example we have a wooden block lying on a table at point a right we apply some force f force is applied on the block and the block move through a distance s that covers some displacement and reaches to point b here the work is done because some force is applied our muscular force is acting on the block and the block is moving through some distance right so the work done can be calculated in this case simply by multiplying force and the displacement produced that is w is equal to f into s For the unit of force is newton and the unit of displacement is meter so the units become newton meter or in si unit we take the unit of work that is joule so 1 joule is the amount of work done when a force of 1 newton displaces an object by 1 meter let us discuss some example in which work is done or no okay mowing the lawn by person yes of course the work is done in this case weight lifting by person yes the force is applied and the weight is lifted through some distance of course the work is done carrying groceries here no work is done moving furniture up to flight of stairs yes because force is to be applied here and they are moving through a distance so work is done now pushing against a locked door no because force may be applied in this case but the door is not moving so we say the work is not done swinging a golf club yes it is work is done right in all those cases where work is done two conditions which are necessary for work done have to be fulfilled that is the force applied and the displacement produced these two conditions are required for work to be done let us take an example and try to calculate the work done in this case if a force of 5 newton acts on an object is displaced through a distance 2 meter okay in the direction of the force then the work done will be equal to the product of force and displacement that is equal to 5 into 2 10 newton meter or we can say 10 joules so just to calculate work we need to multiply force and the displacement produced the work done by a force may be positive negative or zero so let us discuss different cases where work done is positive negative or zero the work done is said to be positive if the force and the displacement are in the same direction means in the first case we apply the force on the block and in the direction of the force the block shows some displacement in this case the work done will be positive the boy is pulling the toy and the toy is moving forward so the force and the displacement are in the same direction so in both cases work is said to be positive suppose a block is moved upward by a force a boy is applying some force and lifting some object so work done by the boy will be positive okay so uh, here the work done is positive because force and displacement are in the same direction the work done by a force is negative if the force and the displacement are in opposite direction suppose this man is lifting some object from the ground okay in this case the force 
applied by the earth on the block is acting downwards whereas the object is moving upward so the direction of the force and displacement is opposite to each other so in this case the work done by the gravity is said to be negative same the force of friction we know that force of friction always acts in the opposite direction to the direction of motion so when we apply some force the distance covered will be in the right side but the force of friction will be acting in the opposite direction so in this case the work done by the force of friction will be negative okay so whenever an object is moving the, the work done by the force of friction will be negative clear the work done is said to be zero if either f or s is zero means uh, this man is pushing this wall continuously but the wall is not moving okay a man is carrying a luggage heavy luggage in his hand but not moving that means force is applied continuously but no displacement is shown so in this case the work done will be zero similarly the work is said to be zero if the force is acting perpendicular to the direction of the displacement for example a porter is carrying weight on his head and moving forward so the weight is acting downward whereas the man is moving forward right so in the, both the cases the direction will be perpendicular to each other so here the work done will be zero similarly in all the cases of circular motion work done is said to be zero because the centripetal force is acting in this direction whereas the direction of object at any point on the circle is taken as tangent to the circle so the force and the displacement are perpendicular to each other so in this case also the work done will be zero okay so work done is said to be zero when no displacement is shown or the force and displacement are perpendicular to each other so let us try to find out the type of force in all these three cases in the first case the force and the displacement are perpendicular to each other so their work done will be zero right in second case the force and the displacement are in the same direction so work done is positive in third case the force is acting opposite to the direction of the displacement so the work done is said to be negative right so now i think it is very easy to find out whether the work done is positive negative or zero Oh